Hi. In this video, after France, Germany, United Arab Emirates, we go to Romania. I don't know how, <laughs> but all the people asking me for help drive 190E. So again, we have 190E. But now it's uh, the engine M102 1.8. It's uh, imported from Italy. People buy these cars uh, because uh, Italy is well known for the cars not to rust as much as uh, in other parts of uh, the Europe. Why? <laughs> well, I cannot say. And now I would uh, like uh, to greet uh, Vlad from uh, Romania. Hi, my man. And uh, he complained me also about his car. The car is well kept. And uh, what I am going to tell you about this car, it's going to shock you. For as for now, we're gonna talk just about uh, the airflow meter. That's the only thing. There will be many, many, many of them concerning this car. Because uh, as for the car, the first owner maintained the car at the dealership. Everything was fine. And then the second owner, well, he ruined the car. Totally, but totally, from what I could see, I was informed that uh, he is or was mechanic uh, at uh, the BMW dealership, but he couldn't handle the KE. And now, one more thing, you're going to be shocked as I show you now the pictures. If you see here this, uh, the spring, well, the spring was shortened. Why? That's because uh, the car had the LPG. <laughs> I that LPG. <laughs> That's the death for a KE and for k -Jetronic. Because of the detonations on LPG, I believe. And now, this, this picture is crucial here. Maybe you don't see the difference, but I can see it already. I can see uh, that uh, someone had uh, detonations on LPG so that his sensor plate went bad. Kaput! So he just decided to buy another one, another airflow meter. <laughs> The one he bought does not match the fuel distributor. How come? I know that because I have the same one, the same airflow meter as on the picture. So if you read here, here, this sign, you can see that it says LM0001. And for this airflow meter, 
you must have the fuel distributor with the plate MT0001. I'm sorry, I don't have uh, that one. I have, I have some fuel distributors, but I don't have that one. And it doesn't differ from this one. Only this sign here is not uh, uh, gray black, it's uh, uh, red black. And it says here MT. Triple zero one and not triple zero eight. Why is this important? Let's see that. Shall we? So, guys, the thing I wanted to share with you is that we have here two airflow meters one lmm triple zero one and lmm triple zero eight and yeah the first shape as you look at them you're not gonna see any difference so none practically no difference here the this uh, holes for the screws match everywhere even uh, the length matches well this hole i believe is not as this one or it is but uh, at first sight, as you look at them, they are practically in identical. Everything here, this shape here, this one, this one, even the diameter of uh, this uh, part here and this one is uh, identical. But what is not identical is luck. As we deflect the plate here, the first thing on LM0001 is that here, this, this here part is smooth. Here, this one, as well as this one here but that's not the case for this one if you can see look do you see the these two here these two lines okay but nevertheless never mind uh, the lines uh, everything is practically identical but now, the best part is about to come as we flip them over, because this is the part that you cannot see. What is not identical is the diameter of, of the cone left from my side in my left hand is the LMM0001 and if we start measuring the cone from here ah, silly me now we don't need this one for, for this here look Look at this. Let's compare it with this one with LM0008. Is there the, the difference? 
Can you see the difference? Here. So once again, or here, even here, look. Triple zero one. Look. And now triple zero eight. Look. Look. What does it mean actually? That means that here on this one on the airflow meter number one LM triple zero one we have more more air coming in so the movement of the plate is not as uh, big as the movement uh, on the plate uh, on triple zero eight we have less movement here then on this one here where we have less air coming in so the settings for the fuel distributor are not are not the same one more thing look at the sliders here observe the sliders here this is triple zero one and this is triple zero eight now I cannot find the angle for you to see. But the sliders are not the same. These two, for example, this one is uh, thicker than this one and this one and the gap between uh, the two sliders is bigger let's see okay this is approximately do you see Come on. Do you see? So here, the slider on this one, on the triple zero eight, are wider than the sliders on the triple zero one. That's why they cannot be compatible and if you have on your car the the airflow meter with the sign saying LM triple zero one you must have the fuel distributor with uh, the sign MT0001 and not for example as uh, here on the car MT0008 here this one this is MT0008 come on just a bit more if you can see here what it says, it says, I. <laughs> here, do you see? Empty triple zero eight. Empty as for German Mengenthaler. But 
This is the newer one. I'm sorry, I don't have the older version. So, this one, MT0008. You're going to recognize it uh, by this color. This light gray uh, black. So, and... Uh, Story. here this one belongs to this one here to its L LM triple zero eight you see as because uh, the fuel distributors 0008 and 0001 are not intercha interchangeable because uh, they look uh, uh, to they look identical but uh, in essence they are not So, why am I telling you this one? For example, this one cannot go on this one. It fits. That's true. The empty fits the LM0001. But it's not compatible. For example, from what I have uh, shown you, these two can be compatible on idle, but as uh, you deflect the, the sensor plate, as you press the accelerator, then the less fuel goes here. So, it's, it doesn't have the same gap, this one, as this one here. So, the settings are not the same. It's not the same how you're going to adjust these four here. For, for the LM0001 and the LM0008. And... Uh, And uh, as I've already said, as the sensor plate moves less on this one, on the older version, the plunger moves less as well. So it's not uh, the same uh, settings uh, for both ones. This one is predicted for the versions KE1 and KE2. So for 190E first models and for W124 first models. But uh, not for the later models. For example, the man has uh, the car from uh, 91 and that's KE 3.5 so this is what uh, I could uh, see the, that's something that uh, caught my eye and uh, that's uh, why it's uh, not just uh, because some uh, mechanics uh, tell you, for example, that know nothing about uh, the KE. They just think that everything is located here. All the issues come from this part. And uh, that's not true. That's simply not true. And uh, then, okay, aha, uh -huh, your car doesn't uh, run well replace uh, this part 
Well, and if you put just like that uh, any other uh, fuel distributor you find, then your car is not even going to start. Why? I think uh, that uh, it's clear why. That's because uh, I already show you why. So, my dear ones, if you enjoyed this video, then please don't click uh, the button skip ad. It is going to help me a lot. And till the next video. Happy Mercedes-ing!